A commander of China's People's Liberation Army Navy declares this training is about forging a strong iron fist at sea. Taiwan says Chinese airships and warships rehearsed an attack on the island Saturday with more than a dozen Chinese aircraft and 14 military ships crossing the median line in the Taiwan Strait. It's dangerous because all those Chinese planes, you know, challenging the, the Taiwan borders require that Taiwan sends its jets up to to counter them and the possibility for a miscalculation or an error is always there. So, uh, you know, the whole thing is is uh, 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 frightening. What we've seen China uh, do over the, the last few years is move away from uh, a peaceful resolution of differences to doing so coercively and potentially forcefully. After the G7 issued a statement asking China to resolve differences peacefully, Canada's Chargé d'Affaires was one of the diplomats summoned by Beijing. In a statement, China's embassy in Ottawa called the G7's position a flagrant act of hegemony, bullying and coercion, and called on Canada to stop interfering in China's internal affairs in any form so as not to cause further damage to China-Canada relations. We're extremely concerned with what's going on in the region. We call on China to calm down its rhetoric. Canada's foreign affairs minister wouldn't say whether she plans to summon or speak to the Chinese ambassador. I think that Canada should be extremely firm. I think it's really important for China to understand that its behavior is irresponsible. China says its air and sea exercises are focused on six spots around Taiwan, expected to continue until midday Sunday. Abigail Beeman, Global News, Ottawa.